This is Winning Cures Everything. Here's your host, Gary Seegers. It's Friday, May 17th. I am your host, Gary Seegers. You can follow me at GaryWCE on Twitter. You can also follow the show at Winning Cures. This is Winning Cures Everything. We do this every day for 10 to 15 minutes. Get to the latest sports news, all of that wonderful stuff. Uh, let me go on and give you the rundown for today's show. Precious Achua commits to the University of Memphis. That gives the University of Memphis basketball team the number one class in the country. Uh, Tyreek Evans kicked out of the NBA. We're going to talk about what that means, uh, how often that happens, etc. Uh, Deontay Wilder said that he wants to kill Dominique Brazil. Who he's playing, or he's playing, he's uh, fighting tomorrow night. We're going to talk about whether or not that's gone too far. Um, and then Jordan Spieth made a, a hell of a run today in the PGA Championship, but nobody is catching Brooks Kepka. Uh, and then I got you some daily gambling picks. So the show, as always, brought to you by betnow.eu. You want to use my gambling picks? Go on and do that over at betnow.eu. Use promo code WINNING50. And they'll give you a 50% deposit bonus. Went 6-0 last night. We have hit 10 of our last 11. You can go over to the website, winningcureseverything.com. Click on Gambling Picks up at the top. That'll give you everything that you need to know right there. But we are absolutely on a roll. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and jump into Precious Achua. Uh, Five-star, power forward. I mean, this, this is other world kind of stuff, right? Everybody assumed initially that he was going to Connecticut. Then things kind of wavered over the last week, uh, week and a half. Thought he might go to Kansas. Uh, he ends up at Memphis. This gives Memphis the number one class for the first time ever. Uh, John Calipari coached here. Don't forget that. And, I mean, this is just other world kind of stuff, right? Memphis's title odds for next season in basketball. Went from 200 to 1 all the way down to right now they're 25 to 1. Uh, let me go on and get the chat bot pulled up so I can actually see what everybody's saying. I've been kind of in a hurry today, as usual. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is next level kind of stuff. I'm uh, I'm amazed at, at what Penny Hardaway has been able to do here, at what Mike Miller has been able to do here. I'm curious if they're going to be able to do it next year. Uh, but right now, they've got insane connections. It is next-level stuff. Precious Achua, James Wiseman, two lottery picks uh, projected for next season's NBA draft. Uh, no, freshmen don't normally win national championships. But sometimes when you've got freshmen mixed with some upper-level guys, uh, some upperclassmen, like Rajon Tucker is, the guy that's coming in from Arkansas Little Rock, so long as he comes out of the NBA draft. Um, and then Isaiah Maurice, etc. If you got some some older guys, you got a shot at this thing. You can make a Final Four. You can turn this thing completely around. FedEx Forum is going to be lights out next year. Absolutely bonkers. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like. This city... The city of Memphis has not had a a better week in sports, I don't think, maybe, maybe ever. Um, I mean, this is this is crazy. Brady White, starting quarterback for the Memphis football team, gets granted a sixth year of eligibility, so he has two years left instead of just this one. Uh, the Memphis Tiger basketball team has the number one recruiting class in the country. The Memphis Grizzlies get the number two pick in the draft, and it looks like John ja Morant's coming to town. This is a good time to be in Memphis. This is a good time to be a Memphis sports fan. Uh, let's talk about Tyreek Evans. Whoo, boy. Uh, here's the statement from the Indiana Pacers. The Indiana Pacers were informed Friday by the NBA that Tyreek Evans has been dismissed from the league for a violation of the league's anti-drug policy. Uh, it says we, will, or we take this matter seriously and we'll reach out to Tyreek to offer our support. He is not eligible for reinstatement to the league until 2020. Tyreek's already uh, old, over 30 years old. This is not good. And, and yeah, I mean, you look on Twitter and everybody's already making the jokes like, well, he looked like he was on drugs all year for the Pacers. It, I'm glad that he went and got paid last year. I'll say that because I don't think the odds are good that he's going to be coming back. 
Uh, I went through and looked, and the list of people that have been banned from the NBA in the last 29 years? 20, uh, let me see. I make that the last 24 seasons, last 24 years. There's been one player that was O.J. Mayo in July of 2016. He is eligible for reinstatement on July 1st of this year, but he's over in, in China in, like, China's version of the G League. Like, I don't think there's any chance he's going to be coming back to the NBA. That's the only guy. Donald Sterling got kicked out. Everybody knows what happened with him having to sell the Clippers. Uh, Before that, 1995, it was Richard Dumas. Uh, Roy Tarpley in 95. Both of those were banned in 91, got reinstated, and then got kicked out both because they were prohibited from consuming alcohol, and they got busted drinking a beer. So... Uh, this does not happen very often, but you got to do some crazy stuff. And no, there's no, there's nothing that's come out about what exactly he did. It could be PEDs, uh, it could be any other recreational drug. But man, uh, you you know they they're not just kicking somebody out for smoking weed, right? Like it, it's completely different. Um, so off of Tyreek Evans, uh, hopefully he can get things sorted out. I'm sure he's going to go overseas and and make some money. Uh, He should probably kill over there. But uh, speaking of killing, Deontay Wilder. So he's got a fight tomorrow night on Showtime against uh, Dominique Brazil. Brazil, 20-1. and His only loss was to Anthony Joshua. He's another heavyweight. He actually played uh, quarterback for an FCS school. I think it was like Northern Colorado, something like that. Uh, But Wilder, the bronze bomber, guy that I'm a huge fan of, uh, he said, this is the only sport where you can kill a man and get paid for it at the same time. It's legal, so why not use my right to do so? And I I don't think that this is that big of a deal, right? Because this fight is not a huge selling point right now. There's not a lot of people talking about this fight. But after these comments, you start seeing stories pop up. Boom, 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 boom. Look, Wilder understands, and he's getting better at it, right? I mean, the guy is 40-0-1 in the ring and still has not gotten a ton of notoriety. But this is easily something that uh, he can use to his advantage because he he really does hate this guy. Like, these two really do hate each other. They had an altercation uh, after Brazil fought or had a uh, won a fight in the undercard of another one of Wilder's fights, they had an altercation in a hotel. And cops got called, etc. But uh, Wilder is using this to his advantage. Say some crazy outlandish-ish, right? This is what Mike Tyson used to do. I'm going to eat his children. You remember that? Like this dude saying, I'm going to kill a guy. Like, I want to kill this dude in the ring. It makes you want to watch it. Now, I was already going to watch it. But just a casual fan that might be looking for something to do on a Saturday night, you hear this dude start talking crazy, like, I'm going to kill this dude, you're immediately tuning in. No, it's not great sportsmanship. No, it's not the politically correct thing to say. It's not respectful. It's not any of that stuff. But who cares? It makes you interested. This is Conor McGregor. This is all of the old greats that used to talk crazy. This makes you want to watch a fight. And I am all in on this. Uh, Wilder is not, he's not wanting to kill an opponent. He may say that, but he's not wanting to kill somebody. I promise you, this is stuff that he's saying to get people to watch his fight so that the next one will be worth even more money. And I think he's playing it correct. He's playing it exactly how he should. Uh, let's talk about the PGA tournament right quick. Uh, Look, Brooks Kepka is just killing everybody. Uh, he's three under today through 13. He's 10 under for the tournament. Adam Scott is at six under. He shot a seven under today, uh, which ties a course record, right? I take that back. He's seven under so far. He's through 15, so he's got uh, he's got three more holes to go. But uh, Adam Scott, I mean, came from 39 back. Jordan Spieth. Shot a four under today. He's up there. Kepka's killing everybody. It's exactly what I talked about yesterday. This is a video game cheat code. 
Like he he doesn't care anything about the other tournaments. And then when it gets to major time, it's time to party. It's time to throw down and actually show what you're made of. And Kepka, I mean, he's ten under right now. He's still rolling. He's still got uh, let's see, five holes to go. I mean, that dude's unreal. Absolutely unreal. All right, uh, let's move into the daily gambling picks, and then we're going to get out of here. I've got quite a few for this weekend. We are already up uh, about 14 units uh, on the week, so we're we're getting there. We're, we're feeling okay. Uh, tonight, I got Angels money line against the Royals. I got Bucks minus 6.5 against the Raptors. The other night was the Raptors' best chance here. Uh, I don't think they're going to get this one done tonight. Uh, Rockies and Phillies no score in the first inning. Dodgers money line against the Reds. Phillies first five money line against the Rockies. Bucks team total over 111.5. Uh, Blue Jays, White Sox under five runs in the first five innings. Cardinals team total under six and a half against the Rangers. And for you UFC and boxing fans, I got a three leg parlay. Lee, Carlos Jr. in the UFC, and then Tossin Wilder. That's plus 215. So you put 100 bucks down, you're going to win 215 bucks. Go knock it out. Pay attention to the, the website, winningcureseverything.com. Go up to the gambling picks uh, section of the site. You'll see everything right there. Again, we are killing it this week. Uh, hopefully, you will check out more of that. Watch it every day. I post picks pretty much every day. We missed Wednesday of this week. I had uh, a bit going on, but... Watch it for yourself. We appreciate you hanging around this week. Share out the show. Subscribe on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. Tell your friends about it. We'll see you guys again next week. Thanks, guys. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com, or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.